Hi, this is James Renford Powell, and this is the show where you find out the what, who, where, when, why, and how you can get your book into print. This is the Bookman Show, and our guest today is Jacqueline Williams, and Jacqueline is the editor of a e-zine, an online magazine, electronic magazine, and. Um, called Lightways, and we'll be talking to her about that. I want to remind you that this show comes to you uh, in part uh, brought by the Institute of Applied Metaphysics, the Church of Revelation, and I Am Press, a company that specializes in working with first-time authors. And all of the guests and the uh, expertise and so forth that we'll be bringing to you coming through uh, their resources and we have to thank them for that. Uh, Jacqueline is, as I said, the guest, our, our guest today is the editor of Lightways Easy. What can you tell, welcome to the show by the way. Thank you Jim, <laughs> so good to be here. And what can you tell us about, what's an easy to start with? I mean a lot of people don't even, uh, may not even know what that uh, uh, actually is. An easy is an online magazine. It's on the internet and so that means you don't have to pay for it. Uh, so we can just go up and download it. You can go up and you can download it or you can read it. You can go to the library where it's free and you don't mm. even have to uh, have a computer. So it's like uh, it's like the Memphis Flyer or something. It's just out there for the, the general public to, to utilize it whenever they want to. That's correct. Mm. And does it have a now, I guess all magazines have, or e-zines have, uh, some kind of specialty or purpose, but what do you see as the purpose of Lightways? Let me read to you my editor's notes for the first issue. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the first electronic edition of Lightways Quarterly Magazine, or monthly. Mm -hmm. This issue is dedicated to providing updated information about the Institute of Applied Metaphysics, I am, the Church of Revelation, CORE, and I am Press. While I am, CORE, and I am Press are separate entities, there is a definite connection. The Institute's three levels of study and CORE's ministries are based on the Brentford books. I am Press publishes and distributes these books and has been the primary financial support of I am and for. Okay, I think so that says exactly. That's, <laughs> that basically is it. Isn't that's it. it. <laughs> were you um, now? Were you a journalist or did how, I mean you're not writing a book, right? Now normally we're talking to people here about producing a book, but uh, when you have to produce a magazine every quarter or every month, it's like. Uh, it's like producing a book, isn't it? It is, and um, I've always been interested in journalism. In fact, I took a class in high school, uh, let's say a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm a reader, though. I love to read. As a child, I read the backs of cereal boxes. I read everything. <laughs> so I like to read. And now this first issue was really laid out for me. It had been around in print form for a long time. And when it was suggested, I won't say by whom, that I take, that I uh, try, you know, my hand at editing, what I wanted to do was create something that I would be interested in looking, reading if I just came upon it. And with me, that means pictures, color. Um, not too long ago I um, was in school and I had to do a lot of research. So you see a lot of black and white, black ink on white paper. Mm -hmm. And it's 50-50. That's what research documents look like. And I would look at us as, oh well, here we go again. I said, why can't they throw a little picture in there, throw a little color, jazz it up a little bit, make it exciting. Make, I mean, the information was exciting, but it didn't draw you to it. And that's what I want to do with Lightways Easy. 
um, we have a lot of color, we have pictures, and some of us are using our um, creative authority and using old pictures. Mm -hmm. But it's more interesting, it's more personal. We have personal stories and bios in there. So it's, there's a lot of information, a lot of information. And that's quite different reading a mag uh, electric electronic magazine than a regular magazine. I mean, you can, uh, I take it you could go, are there links there that you can go, that would take you somewhere else completely? If yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I really don't want to put out a magazine too soon because you can, you'll be reading an article and there's a link and you can go off somewhere else and go on to a whole different tangent. Mm. And that's the good thing because it's interactive. Mm. And um, so I want people to explore. I hope that we have in this magazine, this online magazine, things that people are interested in that they didn't know they were interested in. Um, you can read about different people doing, doing different things. And while we're physically located in Memphis, I want this to be a global magazine, um, to have a, an appeal to people no matter where they are. Because for me, there hasn't been a place in a long time that I can go to find out about different things that I may not be really interested in, but someone may say something, and you can go to the in internet and you can Google, but how reliable is that? And so with this easing, we're talking with people who have had personal experience or they've done research, and you don't have to agree with them. But you, you know, you, you, they'll send you away thinking, and that's what I want to do. So there's not a doctrine or a dogma being expressed in the magazine, but, but there is a theme. I take it you have, there is a theme with each edition. There is a theme, and there's no certain doctrine or anything. What I want to show, especially with the ads, are people that are expressing themselves. People that have found maybe their primary purpose in life and they have their own little business. And we want to support small businesses. But people that are successful uh, at doing what they want to do. And so our, the people that advertise will have uh, email addresses or uh, uh, websites, place or places that are on the internet that you can connect with. So that link is right there on, in the ad. Even in the ad. Yeah. yeah. And uh, have there been a lot of uh, Memphis advertisers or are they from different places? Um, now some of them just have websites so you, you I'm thinking they're any place. Yeah. Uh, they're every place. Uh, I don't, we have a few physical uh, structures. For instance, there's a chiropractor that's in Memphis mm. um, that I can think of offhand. But for the most part, there are things that can be done over uh, the website. Now we do have an animal whisperer in here. Mm. And she does, she can do long distance uh, healing with the animal. So yeah, I, I, the world has shrunk so small. So a lot of people may not know what you're talking about there, but it's like the Horse Whisperer movie. It's 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 the the personal connection between uh, an individual and the and the, the animal. animal. Mm -hmm. And usually, in really um, listening to her interview on uh, the RBR network and talking with her in person. It's usually the owner that needs healing, <laughs> you know, uh, and, and so it's fascinating, you know, and that's what I want, things that are fascinating. Now, you're, you're speaking of Julie Dennis, who has, who, um, has been featured in the commercial appeal. There's been uh, pictures of her working with horses and so forth, uh, so that's an, an interesting one. Hopefully we'll have uh, Julie on the show here to talk about that. What other features does this easing have that maybe 
is not available in the typical magazine? Well, now we do, we do spotlight the Institute of Applied Metaphysics. Now what I love about the Institute of Applied Metaphysics is it's a study to, for universal laws, but it doesn't teach any particular dogma. What, what you do, you read and you identify these laws and you identify and verify these laws in your life. So it has nothing to do with anyone else. It's, it's a self-verification. It's a self-study. You're on the path of discovering who you are. And because of that is why I'm able to edit this magazine. Mm. So I, I really, um, and I'm wanting to know more. So I, I can call on people that have either been on radio, um, by Renford or have written a book published by I Am Press and ask them questions, interview them or have them send me in a bio, a profile, an article to know more about, I mean there's so much that's covered in this magazine. We have a Poets Corner. Um, so that's where you're featuring a poet, that edition. And it's called Poet's po Porch. Poet's Porch. Okay. Poet's Porch. Well, I'm including uh, a poem in each one of these shows as well. You know, I think that when you're reading poetry, it's, um, it's, um, it's like you expect more from it than you do from normal copy. It's like you know that there's got to be some deeper meaning there. So, uh, so I have some appreciation uh, uh, for that. And, and um, um, who all do we, we I think, um, who was featured last in, in the Poets' Corner? Okay, that, that was... Um, and that was Ber Bernard. Bernard Dozier. Um, and Bernard's a retired uh, minister, minister, but he's, he's written a lot of uh, poems, yeah. So yeah. We, yes. yeah. So he was in our inaugural issue, so mm -hmm. that's, a, that's, a, that's a good thing. Um, and, and you have um, you feature um, I think uh, photographers or artists our cover was done by Scott Sherman mm -hmm. and so we did an article on him letting you know a little bit about Scott and the cover was just um, the name of the easing is Lightways and that picture just it it just set it off. The light coming through. The light. I think there was a, a railroad trussle or um, the arches somewhere in the Cumberland Plateau in Tennessee that he made the, that he photographed, and the light just coming through it was uh, very apropos to the name of the magazine. And when I looked at it, it was like I've been there before, and I haven't. But it was just that uh, feel of, ooh, this is home. Mm. I love that picture. Mm -hmm. And I've seen it in, um, he had it in different um, styles. I think maybe the one I really liked wasn't really a color picture. And it was just so eerie. Well, he has shot a lot in East Tennessee and in, and in the States, but he also travels to Scotland, Ireland, and a number of places and, and uh, does his uh, photographic work. So he was a good subject yeah. for that. Uh, now, what what other um, uh, features of this easing is uh, might readers uh, find that they wouldn't find in other places, other things? We have radio by Renford, blog on Blog Talk Radio. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Searchers Roadmap, mm -hmm. which was actually the first show mm -hmm. on there, and now it's hosted by um, I can't even see. It's heard, hosted by Keith uh, Blanchard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the I Am Well show is hosted by Nick Couples. Uh, Pam Drennan, who was on the show before, had been a host. Now she has her own show, Conscious Connections. The co co uh, cosmic Contact. Co cosmic. Oh, sorry, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the No Show. Uh, 
Which is my show. Which is your show. <laughs> um, and and you don't want to be a no show on the no, no show, show, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then Daryl Clark uh, from Progressive News Weekly. Out of and New York. Out of New York. So at this time, those are the shows on Blog Talk Radio. I think you've got a directory there, too, so that anybody who... All of the shows are archived, yes. so... Um, um, you can just go into the archives and find the show that you want uh, and and um, uh, listen to it that way. On the last few pages of, of Lightways Easy, the guests on RBR are listed alphabetically and all the dates of their shows are right there. Mm -hmm. So if there's someone special that you're looking for, you can go there and then um, go to the archives and listen to that show. You can now download it. But it's, um, that's how I, I listen to the show. I'm usually sleep because <laughs> <laughs> I wake up at old dark 30 every morning. <laughs> so uh, I go to the archives and I listen to a show and I've listened to shows and I've heard something interesting and then I've friended that person on Facebook because of what they said. I was like, oh, that's interesting. So it's a way of getting to meet people and um, learn more about what's really going on. It's really the uh, electronic e-zine, uh, electronic magazine is really the the wave of the future, isn't it? I mean, because it, it connects to Facebook, it, uh, uh, Twitter, or any of the any of the media, plus um, uh, to the shows, to the books, and, and uh, to one's process. We'll come back in a little bit and talk uh, more with uh, Jacqueline about her process and working with this and, and what she's learned from it. Uh, we're going to take a slight break, short break, and we'll go to our poetry section uh, for this show uh, when we come back. James Renford Powell and I'm back with you on the Bookman show. We're going to uh, take a little bit of a break here with a poetry section. Uh, we've been doing a poetry section in each in each show and uh, I want to read you this one. This is from this is a poem by me in my uh, book of poetry. It's called In Search of Self and uh, I'm reading a poem called impoverishment you know a lot of people talk about the poor and they talk about being poor and being rich one thing or another but uh, we're going to look at that subject a little more deeply here and this is the poem impoverishment there is no poverty like the poverty of man's vision the deprivation of his inner light there are no limits like the limits man places upon himself God has placed none on him. There is no man so ignorant as the man who cannot see in everything the unity of all. There is no more deadly a disease of man, no spiritual cancer like the one called cynicism. There can be no greater emptiness than the absence of love. It is the worst kind of poverty. There is no poorer man than the man who cannot find within himself something to give. There is no man as lost as the man without proper perspective, a plan, focus, or purpose. There is no man as rootless as the man who cannot see his connectedness to all that exists. There is no man more fearful, more angry with the world than the man who refuses to learn. There is no man as short-changed or foolish as the man who can only see life's injustices. There is no man so helpless as the man who refuses to know, choosing instead blind faith. There is no greater waste than the man who refuses to recognize his creative abilities. There is no man so doomed to failure as the man who only looks outward and not to himself. 
these are my views on impoverishment. We'll be back right away with our guest, Jacqueline Williams, editor of the Lightways Easy. This is James Redford Powell, your host on the Bookman Show, and we're back with our guest, Jacqueline Williams, who's editor of Lightways Easing. Um, in the next edition of Lightways, we'll be fe featuring the Laws of Material Wealth. The Laws of Material Wealth is a personal development program uh, that I've created over the years. It started as a book that was designed to assist my clients. I was uh, at that point in time raising capital for new businesses and I worked in the most difficult of them all. It's the seed money, the money to raise the money, the money for prototypes, um, market research, business plans and so forth. And at that time I it was my feeling that the biggest enemy of most entrepreneurs were the entrepreneurs themselves. And so I wanted to uh, produce something that they could utilize uh, in their process uh, in building their business and, and so we created this book The Laws of Material Wealth. Over the years this has developed into a workbook which uh, provides uh, about five um, exercises per chapter to help the individual identify and verify those principles from their own life experience. Our guest was just talking about this process of identifying and verifying the laws in one's life experience where they can internalize it. It's really real. They've been there and they've done that. It's not accepting somebody else's word for it. So uh, we will be featuring this book, The Laws of Material Wealth Personal Development Program. The book, the workbook, four DVDs, um, which follow the same PowerPoint presentation, follow the same outline of the book in the workbook all the way through. There's four DVDs. There are three outline commentaries that include Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, The Hidden Power by Thomas Troward, and um, the book by uh, Wallace Waddles, The Science of uh, Getting Rich. These are three books that were written in the 20s and early 30s um, that are, are masterpieces, in my opinion. And, and these are books that, in fact, uh, we may at some point analyze and work with on the Bookman Show. But in the personal development, the Laws of Material Wealth Personal Development Program, uh, these three books are featured there. Uh, they're, they were outlined according to the same 13 principles, what these particular writers said about them. Also, in addition to, to the book, the workbook, the DVDs, there's a CD, uh, the PowerPoint presentation, but there's also 108 weeks of support material and online coaching. Uh, this is, in my view, the most proactive, interactive, ongoing program of personal development available. Uh, there be that's arguable. There'll be other people who think theirs is, is uh, uh, more complete or comprehensive, but uh, certainly this is something uh, that I can promise, make three promises about. One is it is self-verifiable. Whether you believe what I would say or what I'm saying on the show or anywhere else or not, you can identify and verify each of those principles from your own life experiences and then you'll know you've been there and done that. The second thing about it that I can promise is that you'll never be walking down the street or sitting in a coffee shop and um, uh, thinking, woe is me, why is this happening to me? You will know why it's happening because you will have identified and verified those laws and you know what's going on. And you won't be sitting there thinking about what happened to me. You'll be sitting there thinking about what you have to do to uh, rectify the situation or to achieve your objectives. The third thing is that I can promise is you'll never listen to a speaker, watch a show like this, uh, read a book, or go to a seminar that you don't know where that speaker is coming from because there's something, uh, there's an inherent knowing there when you know somebody's talking from personal experience. You know that they're not just spouting dogma, they're not uh, talking from act academia, uh, from book learning or something, but they've had that experience. And that book is really meant to be a mentor 
for one who is developing or creating his own business uh, or, or creating anything. The, the process of creation is, is, uh, uh, is something that this book really deals with and you will find it uh, a great benefit. But we'll leave that for you to check out for yourself. The Laws of Material Wealth will be the feature, uh, featured book and the featured activity in this uh, next edition of, of uh, Lightways. Um, can you tell us anything about your experience here of, of moving into being an editor? I mean, this is uh, this was a real change for you, was it not? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, we really don't have enough time because, um, well, yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm coming from the standpoint of a reader um, who's on a, a searcher's path. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. Also, before we, we run out of time, you, I want people to write to me as the editor. Once you read the first issue or any issue, write to me at lightwayseasing.gmail.com and send me questions or your comments or whatever you think. And this is what will send me off in another direction. Wait, so you will have letters to the editor type of section in the magazine. Now it's lightwayseasing at gmail.com. Let's Correct. make sure we have that right. Lightwayseasing at gmail.com. And you can you can talk to uh, the editor and uh, tell her what you think about the magazine and tell her if there's something you'd like to see added. Yes, yes. And, uh, and, and give us some feedback. We'd love to have that. Yeah. Um, is is there any um, uh, anything that you could any personal message that you would like to to give to the uh, viewing audience uh, uh, about Lightways? Well, one thing what I'd like to give to them a personal message is go to iam-cor.org and download the free books. Read uh, the Searcher's Roadmap. Read uh, the core, um, not the core document, but uh, core, and then there's also Unity Principles. Read those books, they're free, and see if they don't start you on your own path to and discovering who you are. Are there articles in the Lightways that assist first time authors that would uh, help people in moving in this direction? Oh, yes. Yeah. If you're interested in writing a book, you can download that information. We have articles by first-time authors. I mean, there's just a wealth of information. And if they want to do an article, I guess they could. They could say. They can submit it. Submit to an me. article. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for being with us on the Bookman Show, and uh, and hopefully you'll come back and join us a little later on with some of the other 